Today, we're reviewing the new E-Zone 98 Tour versus the highly acclaimed 2017 Yonex E-Zone DR 98 Plus. Both offer that extra bit of power that some of us miss from the stock E-Zone 98. Stay tuned to find out how they compare. The Yonex E-Zone line of brackets is endorsed by professionals such as Naomi Osaka and Nick Kyrgios. These rackets are best known for their controllable power and exceptional feel. My history with the E-Zone series of rackets began with the E-Zone AI-98 when it first launched, and then the DR-98. And now, my current racket of choice, the DR-98 Plus. Recently, I decided to try the E-Zone Tour to see if I could make the switch. Since I'm pretty familiar and a big fan of the E-Zone series, I thought my experiences could help others have a better insight in order to make the best decision for themselves. Here are the strong specs of the new Yonex E-Zone 98 Tour, and here are the strong specs of the E-Zone DR 98 Plus. As you can see, the major differences are that the Tour is half an inch shorter, slightly less stiff, 0.2 ounces heavier, and two points less headlight than the DR 98 Plus. From a design perspective, both are very familiar to one another in that they have the isometric square head shape that is very unique to Yonex, which claims to increase that sweet spot of the racket, ensuring more power and control with fewer off-center shots. Control. Although both have an excellent control to power ratio to me, the Tour felt a hair more control oriented than the DR. I feel this is so because of the flex and the weight distribution of the Tour. Having more weight in the tip of the frame, the Tour is harder to produce faster swing speeds, therefore limiting your power. Also, this can be quickly felt when you're playing short court warm up. Um, you tend to instantly produce more power with the DR98 Plus due to its extended length and also a bit stiffer feel. Meanwhile, the Tour is a little bit softer and gives you slightly more touch on soft shots. Power. This is one of two areas where I think the E-Zone line of brackets shine. Due to the DR stiffer frame and longer length, it certainly does give you easier access to more power than the Tour uh, for the everyday player. Now, if you're an advanced player and you have you know, that swing speed, then the Tour is like a hammer. It certainly can amaze you if you can swing it fast enough, but that's not an easy task, especially if you're in a very defensive position. Spin. Neither of these frames are spin monsters like the Babolat Pure Arrow because of their lack of an open string pattern. However, they certainly can give you enough spin. The Tour though, again, due to its weight in the actual head of the racket, should be able to give you slightly more spin if you're looking for that. And also if you can swing it. And it does produce a slightly heavier ball. But comparing slice to top spin, both rackets tend to gravitate towards producing better slice shots rather than top spin in my testing. But it's very minor of a difference that I felt and it will depend on your form. Additionally, due to the head size and string pattern of both, which is slightly more dense than your traditional 16 by 19, both rackets tend to hit you, tend to um, make you hit slightly more flat. So if you come from a racket with a more of an open string pattern, that's something to consider. And that's due to its lower launch angle. Um, and if you want to add more spin, I'll suggest you look into shaped strings to add that extra spin to these frames. Stability. Now, both of these frames are very stable when hitting heavy balls. The Tour may be slightly more stable due to its increased weight, but it's not by much. You would have to be really exchanging very heavy balls to really notice that small difference. Maneuverability. So typically extended length rackets like the DR98 Plus in this case, tend to be less maneuverable due to their extended length. However, since the Tour is slightly more head heavy than the DR98 Plus, they are very close in maneuverability in my opinion. If I had to pick one, I would say the Tour is only a bit more maneuverable, but again, that will certainly be subjective. Comfort and feel. This is the second area where I think the E-Zone line of rackets shine. 
So in the hand, the Tor feels more like more rock solid than the DR98 Plus uh, from a design perspective. The best way I can explain it is that the Tor feels like a hammer in the hand due to its added weight in the tip of the frame. Um, stiffness also plays a major difference in the feel and some in comfort. The Tor has a stiffness rating of 62, while the DR has a stiffness rating of 63. I can feel that difference when exchanging medium to heavy balls, and I'm certainly more used to the DR's stiffness, but like the feel of the Tor a little bit more. So you can't really go wrong with either. Both are made to give you that dampened feel coming from the integrated vibration mesh that's in the grip of the racket, which aids to the comfort of both of the rackets. Additionally, um, string and tension make a big difference in the feel as well. Using the Bablat RPM 17 gauge in both, I strung the DR at 50 pounds, but to get the same feel out of the Tor, I had to reduce the tension down to about 46 pounds, or else the Tor felt like a brick wall. Minor difference, but due to the composition of the racket more than likely, it made the Tor feel slightly different in that regard. Lastly, the Tor is slightly more muted of a frame comparing to the DR, which is slightly more crisp and responsive. Ground strokes. Both rackets shine from the ground. The DR is a little bit more whippy and gives you easier access to power. Also, both are very well controlled balanced, so you can you know swing freely from the baseline while feeling connected to your shots. Um, both are very good offensive and defensive rackets in my opinion, but I would say they're slightly better on the offensive. Volleys. Now, the difference between a good racket and a great racket are with the little things. Volleys is one of those things. So uh, both rackets are exceptional at the net given their stability and their feel. So if you get either of these in your hand, you may be tempted to come up to the net a little bit more often uh, just because it's that much more fun to play at net. But to me, due to the stiffness, I prefer the DR98 Plus's uh, abilities at net a little bit more than the Tour especially if I want to have a little bit more put away power on my volleys. Serves. The E-Zone lineage of rackets uh, comes with a history of huge servers, such as Nick Kyrgios and Naomi Osaka. So trust me when I tell you these rackets are amazing on serve, especially the DR98 Plus because of its extended length. Uh, the biggest serves I have ever hit in my life are with these sticks, especially the DR. Uh, the DR does give you a little bit more easier power. Meanwhile, the Tor gives you a little bit more controlled power. Returns. To me, the Tor gave me slightly more control on returns, but both were very stable uh, when receiving against heavy servers. But the Tor gave me that extra bit of control that I wanted when returning. Not to say the DR is like not good at returning, it's actually much better than your average racket. It's just that with my playing style, the increased control from the tour helped me return more balls into play. Um, and the DR occasionally gave me a little bit too much power, which tended to make, make made me um, spray the ball out a little bit more often than the tour. Who is each racket aimed for? The DR98 Plus is a great racket for intermediates to advanced players. Anyone currently using a Babolat Pure Drive type of racket, which gives you easy access to power, but is looking to get more stability and better feel. Take a look at the Ezone DR90 Plus, uh, or even the new Ezone 98 or Ezone 98 Plus. Meanwhile, the Tour is more focused on advanced players who can handle that extra weight. Although it's 0.2 ounces more, the balance of the racket makes it feel a lot heavier if playing for an entire extended length of time. Bottom line, both rackets are amazing and that's why I'm making this review. There's a reason the E-Zone DR98 Plus is my racket of choice and anybody looking for a good balance of power, control, and exceptional feel and stability, try an E-Zone. Some actually state that the E-Zone 98 line of rackets this year being uh, racket of the year. So certainly something to take a look at, especially if you're looking for a change. Also for good measure, here are my specs to both frames. The setup I have for the DR98 Plus uh, is using Babolat RPM 17 at 50 pounds, weighing in at 12.5 ounces. And the Tour, again with Babolat RPM 17, but this time at 45 pounds 
weighing in at 12.4 ounces, which includes 10 grams of silicone I have put in the handle to make it more head light. Uh, there are, there's no lead or tungsten tape on either racket, and any additional weight on the rackets are from overgrips, other than the tour, it does have the silicone. Now, I've linked everything that we've talked about today in the description down below for you guys if you're interested in learning more. Hopefully this comparison was helpful, but that's it for this one. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any further questions, leave them down below in the comments and I'll try to get to each one. Take care, everyone.